I've had a few people ask me uh, what tools I basically carry with me at all times. And because I'm a tinkerer, there are a few tools that I keep with me at all times. I call it my level one toolkit. Then I have a level two toolkit, which basically tools that I have close by that I, I use probably once a week. Then I have a level three toolkit that has things in it for removing axles and uh, doing brake jobs. So my level one tool kit will do probably 90% of the work on the cars that I tinker with. My level two tool kit will have a couple of specialty tools in there, help me maybe uh, do a uh, timing belt job, and then the level three will help me do just about anything. Now, other than my tire change kit, this is all I really have extra in my vehicle basically at all times unless I know I'm gonna do some other kind of job and then of course the jack and I don't usually try to use the Volvo jack uh, lug nut tool because that thing's just too hard to use too much work you need a cheater with it so I, I bought one of these T uh, lug nut tools from Walmart for 11 or 12 bucks so that's in the car at all times and these two kits are in it all time all times which is basically a socket kit and a small tackle box I haven't counted the socket kit but my uh, imagination would be that a 48 piece socket kit will be enough this may be a 62 inch kit I like the fact that I I have a quarter inch long extension which must be floating around my car somewhere normally on most cars you very rarely use a socket that's under a quarter inch or under seven millimeter. I have my quarter inch drive, my three eighths inch drive, a few bits here that you can actually replace with bits that you use because there's a few hexes there and I use a lot of torques and your socket range from like I said seven millimeter up to 17 millimeter which is my oil pan bolt. So uh, short and long uh, sockets that's basically my socket kit that I keep with me at all times. Now my small toolbox is basically a bait box or tackle box for fishing. It has a deal here where I keep a few clips in there, a couple of clamps, a couple of razor blades, little pieces of wire, stuff like that, odds and ends screws. On the other side, I have some larger screws, some other kind of brackets and things in there. Uh, stuff that I you know run across that I need time and time again as you see I got a little timing belt uh, tension uh, thing in there and uh, just various screws from your self tapping screws to your actually threaded screw. now I do have this thing packed tight so sometimes I have to actually jiggle it to get it closed I keep a magnet in here uh, some thread lock in there little bit of super glue when I have something that's fresh a uh, couple of box in wrenches small stuff fitting on top that's a timing belt tensioner retaining pin I have a uh, the Volvo tool kit in here which is your T20 your T25 your T15 your T30 uh, drivers there this one is a looks like uh, T40 maybe I have a couple of the accessory screwdrivers a driver that you could put bits in I got my seven millimeter socket just handy a couple miscellaneous screws flat tip screwdriver and a few bits and stuff just laying in here I use a, a bread tie to clean out people's windshield washer things I strip some of this green stuff off jam those in there so basically that's what's in the top of this thing a few screws and a little valve stem tightener now the bottom of the box gets a lot of use it has a wire brush in there adjustable jaw wrench I have a long handle uh, 3 8 inch pivot head ratchet wrench that a friend sent me uh, very nice I have usually just one wire cutter here's two pair of scissors, various little bit holders, a pair of pliers. I try to keep a 19 millimeter 
box in wrench in here. I keep a 14 millimeter box in wrench in here. I have a long extension with my T40 and my T45 uh, torque bits. Uh, more little accessories here. A couple of zip ties. If I have any of these packets that I haven't used all of the substance out of, I'll keep those until they dry out. I got a little bit of graphite here. Silicone. A solder. The other Volvo box in wrench. 10, 11, 12, and 13. Then I have a couple of sockets that are bigger than my tool kit. Um, I try to keep an 18 millimeter with me. And uh, then I have some various nuts and bolts in here. I have the specialty uh, reverse torque bits that you use to get your uh, ABS sensor off for those Volvos. I got an extra little ratchet there. And a few other odds and ends, just screws. And I have my uh, spark plug gap filler gauge in there. And uh, the rest of this is just kind of miscellaneous junk and a couple of uh, what you call these Allen wrenches. So if you got any questions about this torque, uh, this toolbox kit, let me know. This is a seven millimeter Allen. I use it to get the brake calipers loose and uh, a couple other extensions, toothbrush for brushing things off, a couple more zip ties, screws and nuts. That's basically all I keep with me. Now in my little tool box here, I normally have that uh, serpentine belt tensioner tool, the one that's painted yellow, and the pin for it. So I must have used it, set it aside, and I'll get that back in here within the next day or two. There's that yellow tool I used to loosen the serpentine belt tensioner. Another thing you'll find in the back of my car is some rubber gloves, some hand cleaner, and a air pump that I use to pump up air in people's car when I see people have a flat. These are the few things that you find in the, in the back of the car as well, usually at the tire change kit area. So where the spare tires stored, you'll find these things here. And uh, I have the air pump there, a couple of ropes, my hand cleaner. And basically, I believe my car is in good shape It'll make any trip that I want to take, so I don't normally take any extra tools or extra parts unless I already am planning to help someone do some specific work. So if someone catches me off guard and they want me to do some work, uh, they'll have to supply the tools or they'll have to buy the tools for me to do the job if it wasn't something pre-planned. Now, if I'm going on a trip, I usually do not carry coolant with me, but I will carry one quarter oil, and I'll check my oil maybe every uh, 500 miles or so, just to make sure it's not all of a sudden burning oil for some reason. Usually, I could drive between 1,500 and 2,500 miles without adding a quarter oil. Now, here are the extended uh, tools that I take if I'm going on a trip and I know somebody wants me to help them with a timing belt job or some suspension job or something like that, I will take these tools, but normally I don't. I have uh, security bits there that has all these funny uh, bits that fit into your uh, torque driver. It's got those holes in the middle of them. I think I bought this from Peak Boys or somewhere like that for 10 bucks or so. It's got those security bits in there. My uh, box-in wrench. I take one jack stand with me. I take my swivels, oil filter, half-inch driver, my clamp for compressing the uh, uh, hydraulic tensioners, a torque wrench, other part of my jack stand, long hook needle nose pliers, my uh, breaker bar there, and one more tool let me grab. And if there's a chance that I'll help somebody with a PVC job, Sometimes they order their kits from uh, that has those special oaky clamps, so I take my oaky clamp crimper with me. So other than that, that's the most I normally take traveling, and my uh, that's my first and second level uh, tool kit. Now I do have a full level two tool kit that usually all these tools are in, 
when I'm not traveling. And then I have my third level kit that, you know, just has some extra large sockets and stuff like that in it. And normally, I, like on this trip, I took my 36 and my 32 millimeter half inch socket with it. And that uh, uh, ratchet driver over there, the same friend that sent me that uh, long uh, swivel 3 8 inch sent me that half inch driver, which I really appreciate. So the tools that you see will do most jobs and in repairing a car at home or while you're traveling. If you have any questions about tools, go ahead and ask. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.